Well, as you can see, you may recognize that immediately. I'm just kidding. You saw the title and the video of all that. What am I doing here? What am I talking about? What, is this a podcast or something? <laughs> yeah, all right. So a lot has been said about this show. Probably more than needs to be said about I don't know about more than needs to be said. I mean, a lot needs to be said about this show, but it has been said. I mean, there's like 30-minute videos just on the tweezer alone. Children were probably conceived during the Destiny Unbound. Probably could have given multiple births during the Bowie, the tweezer, I mean, the back on the train. And, you know, what really will always get overlooked is the back of the birds of a fe feather opener. Oh, the back of the bird. The birds of a feather opener was quite a, you know, what a way to start the show. You know, people want to get down and rock and party right there with that opener. They were not playing games here. Bit of a type one jam to it. And then right into Destiny Unbound. Why was that on the shelf for so long? I have no idea. But like over 700 shows from 1991 all the way until its appearance here. And it wasn't just like a token. We're going to bust this one out. <clears throat> for the Mike Gordon special, very well played. They follow that up with a slow moment there with Horn, and then we get going, you know, with our first legendary jam of the night with this bathtub gin. Not kind of, not the same as the bathtub gin jams of right now. And, you know, they had taken it deep earlier, about a week earlier in Cincinnati. Recap that 221 show the other day, the 222 in Cincinnati of this same tour. Had an amazing gin. This follows that up. They just take it a step further. And then we get another slowdown moment there with sleep, you know, and this would compete with the tweezer for perhaps jam of the night, you know, and it's the same thing. Oh, three, a lot of Mike, you know, now how it's almost like everything's Trey and Paige or Paige, 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 you know, a lot of Mike back then, even if it was just low key, Mike, like in this bathtub, gin, yeah, nothing low key about Fishman sleep twirling us down and then back on the train there was that moment there where they the way they were playing the back on the train it was like whoa they might give this the treatment and it gave it the treatment in a different way you know it didn't take off just like right off zooming right up the hill took it a minute but once it started building and once they got rocking oh my god then back on the train one of its all-time versions right there in the first set then we close this out, slow it back down with bouncing around the room, walls of the cave, bouncing around the walls of the cave basically to end the set. You know, a little fiery rocker. People seem to like that. They like it starting the set. I, I, I just, you know, a walls of the cave felt like, oh, they went from a near perfect set. Well, let's, we'll let horn slide, you know. It feels like it belongs there. You know, some legends up here, but I lost that walls of the cave, damn it. All right, well, how, how dare I complain about anything in this show? And then the tweezer, you get it. Like I said, it's pretty much all been said. Somewhere around that middle mark, 14, 15, 16 minute. There's one type of jam, you know, Trey is just doing something to build it up. Not your natural kind of tone sound. And then Paige jumps in, really intensifying things. Hits kind of a peak there. You feel like perhaps the jam's over, but no, then again, around the 20 minute mark, they just take it all the way home. <clears throat> Good old fashioned smoke and rock and roll right there to end that tweezer. And then a soul, soul shakedown party, another bust out. Not quite, quite as ridiculous as the uh, Destiny Unbound, I don't believe. Or maybe it was, I don't know. It was still a crazy breakout. People fired up for that. And then Bowie going deep again. Had this cool little start to the, uh, the intro there. You know, Trey playing around with Fishman. And we get that after we get through the Rage and Bowie. While it probably didn't compete with the Gin and Tweezer, you know, a lot of shows, if it just had this Bowie in the second set, you'd have left there pretty happy. Round Room, whoa, 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 all right. So it was Round Room's heyday around here, all right? So that one kind of made sense, all right? You know, we're not going to get it. Nobody's going to go crazy for a Round Room, man. If you're chasing Round Room, I, I got some other bands I'll suggest for you. And then, like, oh, yeah, I should mention there was teases throughout the whole night. I did not hear... Or I did hear, I feel like nothing noted, but man, I just feel like there were some strong Zeppelin teases early on and now. I cannot put my finger on the song like some late era Zeppelin. So anyways, then on to Harry Hood, similar to the Bowie, you know, a lot of times if you're going to get this hood, you'd have been like carrying on about the hood. But after all this, you know, it's, it's getting a fifth or sixth mention on the night. Contact Max, Ma Mexican, Jesus. Man, Jesus. Mexican cousin. And then <clears throat> Tweezer reprise. Probably should have cleared my throat before I started this whole deal. Learned how to speak English a little better, and then maybe started a YouTube channel. <laughs> then we get down to Tweezer Reprise, to cap it off the Tweezer that started things. And Mexican Cousin, you know, it was kind of Mexican's cousin's heyday, too. Contact Encore, we always like those. And by we, I mean, you know, I do. I assume you do. Some guy proposed to his wife for, because they played Contact at Alpine.
Yeah, this old shakedown probably deserves some red, but it's not getting it. 2.0, this was this was as bad as good as it gets. There's a few dandies in 03, but this one I believe most people, they like it. So like I said, a lot, too much has already been said about this show, but it, I felt like it needed a whiteboard, so boom, there it is. <laughs> I'm having a horrible hair day, guys, forgive me.